Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome back to my channel. Well, you may have seen earlier this week, I posted a video saying that energy prices are set to rise again on the 1st of October. Now, we had a pretty good trend going uh, from the start of this year. The energy prices have been dropping. Um, we had a drop in April, we had a drop in July and things were looking good. But as of the 1st of October, that is coming to an end because the energy price cap in the UK is set to rise by 10%. Now, this is going to be a bit of a hit and a bit of a shock to a lot of people. And when you factor in the winter fuel allowance has been taken away for a lot of pensioners, we are talking about a significant rise for people because not only are they losing a few hundred pounds in winter fuel payments that they somehow have to find from elsewhere, but we're now talking about a 10% rise in overall electric and gas prices across the country. So without a doubt, this is going to affect a lot of people. Now, I did say in that last video that I would come back with a video today telling you exactly what the new unit prices are going to be. So that is what today's video is going to focus on. Now, I've got them written down here. And what I will say, these unit prices may slightly differ depending on what region of the country you are in. But they are an average and they are based on a, a person who pays by direct debit because there are different ways you can pay your energy bills. And depending on how you pay, depends on actually what unit price they give you. But because the majority of people pay by direct debit, I have chosen to give those unit rates. So these unit rates are the new average across the country. So they might be slightly higher or slightly lower, depending on where you are, but this is pretty much about what they will be. So let's start with electric. Now, this shocked me straight away because the standing charge was not supposed to change, but it has. The electric standing charge has gone from 60.12 pence a day up to 60.99 pence a day. Now, that shocked me straight away. That was not set to go up, but it has gone up. So straight away, the standing charge for electric has gone up quite a bit. Electric unit charge has gone from 22.36 pence to 24.5 pence per kilowatt. Now, if we move on to the gas charges, you've got the standing charge for gas that was 31.41 pence a day. But that has also gone up to 31.66 pence a day. And then you've got the unit charge, which has gone from 5.48 pence per kilowatt to 6.24 pence per kilowatt. And as I say, they are an average of across the regions of the UK. Each region has a slightly different uh, price cap. It's only marginal, um, but that is the average of them all. So the new prices will be somewhere around that. Now, the importance of that is if you are on the variable tariff that follows the price cap pricing, then those will be your new prices from the 1st of October. However, and this is a big however, there are still cheaper fixes on the market that you can access. Now, if you go onto your energy provider's website and look through their current tariffs that they offer to new and existing customers, you may find that they are offering a cheaper one or two year fix than that new price cap, which sounds crazy because they know that's coming now. So really, why would they offer you a cheaper rate? But they are. I have checked this morning. I'm with Octopus Energy and I have checked on the Octopus website and they are still offering a fixed tariff, a 12 month fixed tariff that is approximately 7% cheaper than what the prices will be from the 1st of October onwards. So to me, that is an absolute steal of a fix. And if you want to make the most of that, I have put a referral code in the description box of this video down below, where if you switch from your current provider over to Octopus Energy, you will get £50 of free credit for using my link. And just to be transparent, I will also get £50 for you using my link. And as I said, if you do that, you can not only get the £50, but you can also access that, that fixed deal, which is around 7% cheaper than the new price come the 1st of October. So to me, that is well worth making the most of. Now, the real shocking point about the story that came out this morning about obviously the price cap going up, 
Not only is it going up 10%, that is obviously a shock to everyone. But they've also said their forecast for the next year. And obviously some of this is kind of a little bit of guesswork because they can't accurately predict probably more than around six months. But obviously they've got the data and, you know, they know better than me. But what they're basically saying is they don't think prices are going to actually fall back below the new price come the 1st of October. So over the past 12 months, we've seen, if we go back a full 12 months, we've basically seen prices go up for last winter. But then once we got through the January price cap, we saw a drop in April and then a bigger drop in July. But what they're basically saying is they feel this new price cap come the 1st of October is basically going to be the cheapest it's going to be for the next 12 months, which I find that a little shocking, to be quite honest, because I can understand them going up for the winter period, but I would have thought they would fall back down again by next April and then again in July. But apparently that isn't going to be the case. So I would imagine that makes these fixes, no matter who you fix with, it makes them even better deals to get right now because then you've fixed your price and you know you're not going to pay these inflated prices for at least a year or more. So if I was you, if you're on a standard variable tariff that follows the price cap today, don't leave it any longer because some of these deals may go off the market today, sort out your energy provider get a switch going to a different provider or switch your tariff from a standard variable to a fix. Do it today so you don't have to worry about it. Because if you leave it and some of these fixes come off the market, you will be stuck paying that variable price cap tariff price and nobody wants to be paying 10% more than they need to. Right then guys, I will leave it there. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you could hit the like and the subscribe button on the way out, and guys, I will catch you in the next one.